Civil society says there is lack of political will by government in implementing proposals and recommendations that come out of investigations. The Constitution, in Article 90, Subsection 4, provides that in the exercise of their functions, committees of Parliament may call any minister or any person holding public office and private individuals to submit memoranda or appear before them to give evidence, may co-opt any member of parliament or employ qualified persons to assist them in the discharge of their functions, shall have the powers of the High Court for enforcing the attendance of witnesses and examining them on oath, affirmation or otherwise, compelling the production of documents, issue a commission or request to examine witnesses abroad. A non-refund within three months, as recommended by Kosase, according to the civil society, is a breach of Article 90, subsection 4 of the Constitution of Uganda. Civil society claim this money could be channeled to programs like health or education to benefit Ugandans. With regard to the parliamentary report on the six billion handshake, most of the recommendations have not yet been implemented and this is one year later after the recommendations. For instance, uh, Parliament required the Cabinet to draft the, legis the executive to come up with a bill on presidential donations within 90 days. But we have not seen that and between that time of uh, Parliament recommending and now do we know how much has gone to, you know, to waste through these presidential donations for instance? Members of civil society are now pushing for an amendment in the constitution that will limit the presidential pledges and donations. Presidential donations are uh, a bit so absurd because they are not regulated. We don't have a law in place to regulate them. First of all, um, there is no equity in the way they are made. The president donates as and when he wills and uh, it, it also interferes with the implementation of the national budget. Many times we sit and we budget and we say we've allocated this money for this purpose but at the end of the financial year not even half of that money has actually gone to the execution of that purpose. For instance, Youth Livelihood Program has received more money in this current budget but not even a quarter of it will be sent to the young people because midway uh, government is going to come with a supplementary budget seeking for money and to do what? To satisfy these presidential donations. What's to be done is to actually demolish this whole business of giving uh, presidential pledges and donations and invest more time and um, resources in uh, holistic, comprehensive planning, budgeting, etc. to make sure that service delivery can be delivered across the board in uh, an equal and equitable manner. Without implementing recommendations from an investigation like the six billion shillings presidential handshake, civil society think government loses money invested in the investigation process as well. Report filed by Martin Kwagala for Urban TV.